Hello everyone. Thank you for taking part in today's webinar on the Jean and Price Daniel Holman Archives at the Sam Houston Regional Library and Research Center. My name is Alana Inman and I'm the manager of the center. I'm joined today by Lisa Meisch, the center's archivist and curator. We are very excited to share with you the story of the Daniel home and an overview of all the resources we have related to former Governor Price Daniel. For those of you unfamiliar with the Sam Houston Regional Library and Research Center, it is part of the Texas State Library and Archives Commission, or TSLAC. The center is TSLAC's Regional Historical Resource Depository, or RHRD, for 10 counties in Southeast Texas, including the county that was home to Price Daniel. The center is located at 650 FM 1011 in Liberty, Texas, and open Tuesday to Friday, eight to five, and Saturday, nine to four. If you would like to learn more about the center, I encourage you to view the recording of a previous webinar in this series, Introduction to the Sam Houston Regional Library and Research Center. Today's presentation is designed to educate you on only one of our historically significant buildings, the Daniel Home, and just a handful of the center's collections. Today, we are going to learn more about Price Daniel and his service to Texas, explore the connection between Daniel and the Sam Houston Center, and describe the Daniel home and the center's archival collections related to Price Daniel. But before we get started, I wanna share with you a little about the Texas State Library and Archives Commission, the state agency of which we are a part. The main TSLAC facility is located in downtown Austin, Texas by the Capitol building. You can access TSLAC's main collections at the archives reading room there. On the screen, you can see an overview of TSLAC's mission and the services and programs our agency provides to Texans. Today's webinar is part of our mission to provide Texans access to needed information. You can also see the three service areas of TSLAC listed with the Sam Houston Center being one of those. If you want to learn more about our agency, please visit the agency's website at www.tsl.texas.gov. And now to tell you more about Price Daniel and his service is Lisa Meisch. Hello everyone. Marion Price Daniel Sr., commonly known as Price Daniel, was born on October 10th, 1910 in Dayton, Liberty County, Texas. After graduating from high school in Fort Worth, he earned his bachelor's degree in journalism in 1931 and his law degree in 1932, both from Baylor University. He returned to Liberty County and set up his law practice in the town of Liberty. Daniel's career in public service began in 1939 when he was elected to the Texas House of Representatives. He served a term as Speaker of the House from 1943 to 1945. Following military service in World War II, Daniel went on to serve as Texas Attorney General, United States Senator, Governor of Texas, Director of the U.S. Office of Emergency Preparedness, and Associate Justice of the Texas Supreme Court. In addition, Daniel was a member of the governing body of the Texas, Texas State Library and Archives Commission from 1979 to 1988 and acted as legal counsel for the Alabama Cushata tribe of Polk County, Texas. In 1940, he married Jean Houston Baldwin, a great great granddaughter of Sam Houston, and they had four children. Price Daniel died on August 25th, 1988, and he is buried in the Daniel Family Cemetery in Liberty. Clearly, Price Daniel had a long career in public service, holding more high elective and appointed state positions than anyone else in Texas history. Yet the biggest impact for us at the center is that Price and Jean Daniel donated the very land on which the center sits. Following the 1971 creation of the Regional Depository Law, which was designed to save local government records, Price and Jean Daniel donated over 100 acres of their land in Liberty, Texas for construction of the center. You can see here a pamphlet describing the construction project. With the assistance of the Daniels and other interested parties, private funds were raised for the building's construction and the center opened in 1977 
as the state's official regional historical resource depository for Southeast Texas. Price and Jean Daniel also built the Jean and Price Daniel Home and Archives on the center's grounds in the early 1980s, and they patterned it after the Texas governor's mansion, which was originally intended to have wings. Abner Cook's original plan for the Greek Revival Mansion had wings on either side of the house, but they were never added due to insufficient funds. When the Daniels built a home at the center, the central portion of the exterior was built to match the governor's mansion, and then wings were added to give visitors an idea of how the Texas governor's mansion was originally intended to appear. Here you can see the home under construction. And then here is the home as it appears today. While the exterior may be patterned after the governor's mansion, the interior is not. Except for the entry hall and stairs, which are shown here, the interior of the Daniel home is not like the governor's mansion. Instead, it was built to meet the needs of the Daniels, including a large library, dining room, office, and several bedrooms. The Daniels never lived at the home full time, but often stayed there with family and friends or hosted events in the home. Now the building is used for special events and to house artifacts related to Price and Jean Daniels' lives and public service, all of which can be seen on a tour of the home. While some artifacts related to Price Daniel are on display at the home, it is the center's main building that houses the archival collections related to the Daniels. Lisa is going to give you an overview of the various Price Daniel related collections at the center and mention those available at our Austin headquarters. Hello again. The majority of the materials at the center and those most frequently used by researchers consist of Daniel's papers for three of the elective offices he held, state attorney general, U.S. Senator and Governor of Texas. Of these three, the bulk are his gubernatorial records. All of these papers are valuable resources for information on Texas politics and government from the late 1940s to the early 1960s and document many of the major issues of that period. The types of materials included are correspondence, reports, briefs, subject files, publications, political campaign files, press releases, speeches, minutes, clippings, photographs, and reference materials. The gubernatorial records also include legis legislative files, public works files, and the files of First Lady Jean Baldwin Daniel. Some of the subjects documented in, in the Attorney General records include Price Daniel's defense of Texas's claims to its tidelands, which is property extending into the Gulf of Mexico. Daniel unsuccessfully or argued before the U.S. Supreme Court that they remained the state's property when Texas joined the United States. However, as a U.S. Senator, he sponsored legislation that established Texas as the owner of its tidelands. And today, the offshore oil, oil reserves from the land are a significant revenue source for Texas. The Attorney General records also document the Sweat versus Painter case in which African-American applicant Heman Marion Sweat sued the University of Texas School of Law for racial discrimination upon its refusal to admit him. Some of the subjects documented in the U.S. Senator papers include state federal ownership of submerged lands like the Texas Tidelands, a narcotics probe led by Senator Daniel as a member of the Senate Judiciary Committee, natural gas legislation, organized crime, communism, civil rights, and racial segregation in public education. Some of the subjects documented in Daniel's records as governor include oil and gas, segregation, federal government programs, taxation, water resources projects, and legislation. In addition, in addition, there are records documenting his four gubernatorial campaigns and the governor's appointment files. And here you see a flyer from his 1956 gubernatorial campaign. For those interested in researching in these papers, there are online finding aids available on Texas Archival Resources Online, or TARO, that you can view prior to visiting the center. 
you can link to these finding aids via the center's webpage at www.tsl.texas.gov slash SHC. You can see the list of Daniel Wright related collections there where the green arrow is pointing. You can also access them by going directly to Taro. To, to search Taro for only finding aids at the center, you will need to select TSLAC as the repository and use the keywords Sam Houston Center in your search. However, if you wish to search both the collections at the center and at headquarters in Austin, then simply select TSLAC as the repository and Taro will search both locations. I want to say a quick word about the Price Daniel audiovisual materials. This collection is comprised primarily of films and audio tapes pertaining to Daniel's service as Attorney General, Senator, and Governor. The finding aid is also available on Taro, and those interested may access digital, digitized versions of many of the materials on the Texas Digital Archive, or TDA, at www.tsl.com dot texas dot gov slash texas digital archive you will find the videos within the center's collection on the tda the center also houses several smaller price daniel collections that document some of his other positions and activities there are not online finding aids for all of these collections so you will need to call or visit the center to learn more for instance, these include his papers from his service as a justice of the Texas, Texas Supreme Court and even as president of the Friends of the Sam Houston Center. Also, along with Dorothy Blodgett, Price and Jean Daniel co-authored the book, The Texas Governor's Mansion, A History of the House and Its Occupants, which focuses on the history of the mansion and the governors and their families who resided there. Both the center and our Austin headquarters house research, collect research collections pertaining to the book. Our TSLAC Austin headquarters also has several collections pertaining to Price Daniel. These include ones pertaining to his service as Texas Attorney General, including more information on the Tidelands case, Supreme Court Justice, and Governor, including a number of photographs and clippings from his press secretary, John Ford. Also, there are collections pertaining to his role as a commissioner for the Texas State Library and Archives Commission, audiovisual materials, and other historic records. That is just an overview of the various collections at the Sam Houston Center and at TSLAC Austin that pertain to former Governor Price Daniel. If you're interested in learning more, we encourage you to get in touch with us. The contact information for the Sam Houston Center is on the screen along with that of the main TSLAC location in Austin. We hope you will reach out to us to arrange a visit to the Daniel home or to view our historic records. The easiest ways to reach us are by calling 936-336-8821 or emailing us at samhoustoncenter at tsl.texas.gov. So in summary, we've talked about Price Daniel's public service, the Daniel connection to the center, the Daniel home and the collections related to the Daniels at the center and how to access them. I wanna thank you for spending time with us today and we'll be happy to answer any questions you have.